So how can we explain that Tarsila was so much ignored for so many years outside of Brazil? Well, I would say that Tarsila was not very well known in the United States, but has, she has not been very well known in the United States. She has always been kind of an artist artist. Uh, of course, you know, specialist in Latin American art, uh, people in the academia, uh, art world people knew who Tarsila was. So the big audience, the large audience, did not have the opportunity of seeing a, a complete and consistent show of her work until today in the US. She's better known in Europe, not only in Spain and France. Not uh, in France, come on. No well, one she, knows she her lived, in She lived in France and, and, and in a way she had so many acquaintances in France. Probably she was better known in France earlier than today. That's yeah. true, she has been a little bit forgotten in France. But, uh, but anyway, the fact is that she's one of the most influential artists in Latin America. But she's a genius. She is. So one can be surprised she was not well known. Outside well, you know, of Brazil, probably, what's the reason? But probably because uh, the way art history has written, especially for the modern chapter, has been uh, driven by, uh, by, I would say, a canonic way of thinking of modernity as a universal method. We were talking about that before. Uh, the, the, the fact that modernity was fractured, that modernity was fundamentally a fractal landscape that took place in many, in many locations, transforming itself in different forms of modernity, is something that has been overlooked by this idea, which is a simple idea, which is an easy idea, that modernity is a unique, universal language. And every form that did not uh, accommodate to that universal language was over, o overlooked in, in a way. That I think we are correcting, in a way, that perspective. And today, uh, we are very much aware of, of this fractal aspect of modernity, and I think it's an opportunity to bring their to the electronics.